You live as if you were destined to live forever. No thought of your frailty ever enters your head. Of how much time has already gone by, you take no heed. You squander time as if you drew from a full and abundant supply. Though all the while, that day which you bestow on some person or thing is perhaps your last. They lose the day in expectation of the night, and the night in fear of the dawn. You act like mortals in all that you fear, and like immortals in all that you desire. It takes the whole of life to learn how to live. And what will perhaps make you wonder more, it takes the whole of life to learn how to die. The greatest obstacle to life is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. You are arranging what lies in fortune's control, and abandoning what lies in yours. What are you looking at? To what goal are you straining? The whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately. But life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. Often, a very old man has no other proof of his long life than his age. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements, if it were all well invested. But when it is wasted in heedless luxury and spent on no good activity, we are forced at last, by death's final constraint, to realize that it has passed away before we knew it was passing. So it is. We are not given a short life, but we make it short. And we are not ill-supplied, but wasteful of it. Life is long if you know how to use it. In guarding their fortune, men are often close-fisted. Yet when it comes to the matter of wasting time, in the case of the one thing in which it is right to be miserly, they show themselves most extravagant. Of all men, they alone are at leisure who take time for philosophy. They alone really live. For they are not content to be good guardians of their own lifetime only. They annex every age to their own, and the years that have gone before them are an addition to their store. As far as I am concerned, I know that I have lost not wealth, but distractions. The body's needs are few. It wants to be free from cold, to banish hunger and thirst with nourishment. If we long for anything more, we are exerting ourselves to serve our vices, not our needs.
the part of life we really live is small. For all the rest of existence is not life, but merely time. It is more civilized to make fun of life than to bewail it. <laughs>